Alrighty, hi there, this is Gauntlet with Gauntlet's Race Mod. Um, this is our second tutorial video on ship designing. Here is the ship from the first video that I was working on. Um, you know, it's coming along a little bit. Let's uh, give it some engines. We know from the first video that we can have a lot of fun with scaling. Do, do, do. That was 1.3 by 3.4. That is important. You want to be precise with your numbers. Why am I not using the symmetry command? Because the symmetry command generally sucks. Um, it won't work with a lot of the really cool features like grouping components, which is the first thing we are going to go over today. So this is a halfway decent little fighter. Um, great. I want to save this and use it on other things. Well. My first piece of advice is take your main piece and make sure this is at a very neutral standpoint. Zero, zero, zero for its placement. There we go. I would also make sure that if it's a fighter, it's not animating everything. Like if the you know engine is rotating, that's fine, great. Um, but if, you're, if the whole fighter is going to be animated, you might want to undo that simply because you might want to change how the animations work on another model later when you use this. Um, so to save as a grouped component, you grab the main piece, your first piece. Everything has to be attached to this first piece. If you have a piece connected to say the starting cube, these two pieces are not actually connected. They're both connected to the starting cube. The starting cube is not a component. It is not a piece. You are not allowed to merge it with anything. Um, so this is useless. I can't combine these two pieces, uh, which is fine because that's a really ugly design right there. So everything has to be connected with each other from one starting piece. All right, now you click on that, hit control and hold that down on your keyboard and select the other pieces in order left to right. Sometimes you can mess up the order and it's okay. Sometimes it's not. I can't guarantee it. Um, it's not perfect. But the way I just did it was great. You do it left to right. And you have a button with a four squares and an arrow on the right. Save a group of components as a new part. Zero dash test part. Done. All right. You know that worked if you get a single component here now and you come back to the ship list that's it kind of resetting now I'm gonna take this you can also unpart this ungroup this if you want there you go so now I can make tweaks again but now if I go into my custom ship parts I have a new test part I've got uh, you know another copy of this fighter so if you want to make a wing of fighters well, let's uh, take this, do, do, do. move it out of the way a little bit, and you're going to want to take your new fighter and attach a couple of copies to your starting cube. Then you can move them out of the way. There you go. Now you've got a wing. Um, you can animate them and that will get you some uh, great great fighter wing effects so that's grouped components let's talk a little bit more about that because there are some pitfalls if we go back to our original fighter here these parts are all friendly parts they work just fine with each other but there are some parts that are glitchy for example if you go to some of the basic pallet stuff some of these tubes that are used for relics are simply scale bugged if you attach a part to them, they will really mess with the scale of the other part um, that's attached to them. That's kind of weird, not very useful. Um, I don't know every single part that is bugged. For all I know, it's not associated with particular parts. It could just be random, I suppose. But you're going to want to test your, your parts. So when you're done with a custom component, before you really save it, Build it as a ship and see how it works in game. Um, make sure to do that because scaling bugs don't show up in the designer, they show up in game. Um, so if it comes out in game and you're happy with it, then you can go back in and save it as a custom component. 
So that's the first thing that could go wrong. Some parts are just bugged. Pretty sure the survey module, for example, is bugged, which is fine. You can find um, this exact part under Terrans, so you don't need this one, really. The other thing is um, support two, support two, and titanium plating. These are all saved as group components, not real components, so to speak. They are their own custom parts. So when you attach them as part of a grouped part, they will not scale correctly. So for example, we'll attach that tube there, which is a real shame because it's probably my favorite. Um, now we will group this all together. Whoops. Oh, there you go. You don't want to do that. See, I just selected two parts that are not attached. So you need to be careful. There we go. Save this. Zero dash test part test. There we go. It worked. Go back in here. Go to style. All right, here we go. It's got the part. Everything looks good, right? Put that on there. All right, but now I want to scale this, let's say. Oh, no. My little fuel pods, they are now teeny tiny fuel pods. So I've got to scale them separately. That becomes a real pain in the ass when you're trying to repeat things over and over and over again. Um, so it's best just not to use any of the parts that are um, actually group parts. It's best not to group group parts to each other. Um, that being said, I have done it on occasion because it is helpful. It does make things go faster. So here is one of my favorite turrets, but it is actually three pieces. I group the cannon piece first, and I've got another one, and then I've got the actual turret. Um, so if I scale this, now the guns are too tiny. Um, but that being said, if you are absolutely certain you don't need to scale the part ever, like you build it all from the ground up to work at the same scale as the ships you're going to put it on, well then, then it's manageable and you can do this and it will be fine. I was very, very careful when I did this. If you're really not prepared for that, if you really know you're going to be messing with scale a lot, don't, don't do that. Um, okay, so those are the three biggest problems with grouped components. Group components with group components don't scale nicely. Um, group components must be all attached to each other. Um, and then also there are some parts in the list that are just bugged and will mess with things. Um, oh, and of course the symmetry command is useless. Um, if I had not placed these two engines separately as two pieces, if I had used the symmetry command, they would not have become a group part. And when I place this, it would be missing an engine. Um, so yeah, hopefully Stardock uh, will eventually uh, tweak some of these things, but honestly, who cares? It's just extra effort to make things awesome. And there's there's always more time, I suppose. All right, guys, so this is uh, the end. Uh, that's group components uh, for you. Um, thank you very much. And we will be doing the next video on animation.